everyone, it's Blakely with Everyday Gourmet. So I'm so excited to show you a super, super, super simple appetizer recipe. My figs and my grocery store looks amazing right now. So I'm going to do some rosemary goat cheese in the middle, wrap them with prosciutto, and then do a pepper honey on top. Very simple, so delicious. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it ever. So I have some figs here. Here, these are brown turkey. So what I'm gonna do is just cut, but don't cut all the way through. On, I'm gonna cut and do this like that. So you kind of want to leave like a little opening here. So then I'm gonna go ahead and put these. I'm just gonna make a few just to show you how amazing they are. I have about two ounces of goat cheese here, and I'm going to chop up some rosemary. I'm gonna add the rosemary in there. Oh, it smells so good, I love rosemary. You can also use fresh thyme if you'd like. That would be really good with the, with the figs. So once we have our beautiful rosemary chopped up, we're gonna add it to our goat cheese. And we're just gonna mix it together. This room, this goat cheese is at room temperature. It makes it much more like pliable and, and easy to mix. Right. Okay, so that is pretty much mixed together. It's, it's not wet, so don't think of it as that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little scoop of our goat cheese here and kind of put it right in the middle, just like that. All right, gonna keep doing this with all of our figs here. So now I'm going to take some prosciutto here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it into slices. We'll get about three per slice here. Okay. So then once you cut them, oops, it doesn't have to be perfect, don't worry. It'll still taste delicious. You're just gonna take them, just do a nice little wrap here at the bottom, just like that. Beautiful. So I'm gonna keep wrapping our figs just like this. So look at how cute these look. So now I'm going to drizzle with a little bit of olive oil right here. And I have my oven preheating right now at 350. Just like that. I'm gonna do a good crack of black pepper. So what I love about this is it's easy enough you can make like a hundred of if you're having a party. But you can also just make a couple if it's just for the two of you. All right, gonna do some flake salt. So 350 for about 25 minutes. While that's cooking, I'm gonna show you how to make my delicious honey that we're gonna drizzle on top when it's done. So these are hot out of the oven and they smell so good, let me just tell you. So now I'm going to put them on my little serving thing here, just like this. They look fantastic. Like I said, you could do a ton of these at once or you could just do a few just like for a treat for yourself because treat yourself, why not? All right, so now I'm going to do some honey. So I have some beautiful local honey here. And then to that, I'm going to do some red pepper flakes. Make a little, little spice to it. Also gonna do a ton of black pepper in there too. This just adds so much flavor. I love that sweet and salty and spicy and just all, just hitting all those flavors. The taste buds are gonna be like, what? Okay, so look at how beautiful that is. Just like that, so then, what I'm gonna do is just simply drizzle this beautiful honey all over, all over. 
or these figs, just like this. Look at what a pretty presentation. Just on the little board. Let's put them on just like that. I mean, what else do you need? Beautiful. And you really don't need any more salt because that prosciutto is beautifully salty and perfect and delicious in every way. Okay, just like that. And then I just have a little bit of chopped fresh rosemary finish it off with, and you have the best appetizer. I can't wait to try it. So these babies are done. I've already had two. Because <laughs> they're so good. Like, just a little pepper honey, and the rosemary, and then the fig is a little sweet, and the prosciutto is a little salty. Oh my god. You have to make this. Make like a dozen per person, because they're going to go fast. So there you have my stuffed Figs. I hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe to Everyday Gourmet Flickly for more delicious recipes and videos. Yeah.